Well guys, I have a really special treat. Occasionally, I get a job to do restoration on film used props. And this is a really special one. This is a movie that I remember as a kid. Batteries not included. This is Flotsam. You can see that this came to me in pieces. This is the bottom jaw. This is the top, the lid. It splits in half, and I'll show you why that's like that. And generally speaking, this model is in pretty good condition. There are some repairs I'll have to do here. There's a break here in this chassis. And the electronics were not working, but I was able to get the help of my friend Randy at Voodoo FX, and we completely restored these lights. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's a look inside this guy. It's very intricate. There's a mountain here. There's an articulation for the uh, umbrella that comes out. And it's such a treat to have a, a film used prop. This is a very specific piece in the movie. One of the parents is teaching the babies how to fly. And poor little Flotsam is standing at the top of the staircase and is pushed off and a little parachute comes out. It's like a little umbrella propeller thing pops out and this is that animation puppet. This is the exact puppet used for that scene. Before I open that up to show that to you, here's his animation mount and here's his lights fully restored. This took a little bit of work. We had to completely gut the wiring inside from the bulbs out and thread it back through. But here are his lights. We were surprised that the original LEDs still work. They look great. This pops up in the animator unfolded. I don't want to do this completely right now, but you can see that all of these animate open to create that umbrella. These are all made out of, uh, it feels to me like it's just a very thin gauge sheet metal. Very amazing engineering these these oh, these ILMers did. It's got a little a little metal mount. Then there's a little pin right here that goes in. And a nut and a washer. Here's the legs I'm using. So when you look under here, it's gonna be super hard to see with this camera but there's a mount here that's a, an aluminum little custom mount and that's going to accept a rod so I'll make sure that when I when I get these guys paint matched I'll make a rod that comes out that actually mounts into that armature back there. Poor little Flotsam over the years has lost his antenna on this side and he's lost his rear antenna that comes out of this but I've got an existing one here that I can match here's a little update with Flotsam I have his jaw firmly set in place I've got a lot of the dust cleaned off of this and his replacement legs I'm pinning okay as far as paint matching goes for these new legs it took me a few days of fooling around and experimenting but I discovered that Model Master's Pontiac Engine Blue Metallic is almost a perfect match if you dust it down with a little bit of uh, black smoke airbrushing. So these guys are going to be this Pontiac Blue color with a little bit of tone adjustment. I'm using a micro brush to start some of the, the fine copper detailing on the feet. Have the antennas restored. Okay, here is your left and right legs and feet, and the color match to the body is pretty dang good, man. That is really close. Very happy with that. So now it's time to pin these legs into place and move forward where we are and this is the base this is just basically a piece of MDF and some pine it's completely hollow on the inside to allow 
the wire to travel across the pan of ice mount and inside the base where there will be a battery and an on off switch here in the back. Okay, the base is all finished up. I have the laser etched aluminum plaque in place. The base has been clad in styrene. And here is Flotsam finished up. Got his lights on. Flotsam animation puppet from the flying scene and batteries not included, 1987. Made by the model shop that many years ago and fully restored to his original condition. All the missing parts. Restored, fully assembled, crack in the chassis repaired, and he is in flight mode. I should say he's in falling mode because I've I left I left the umbrella kind of pitched up when he was falling. They animated these guys to be pitched. Before I leave this video, I want to show some of this detail here. I mean, the paint job is amazing, but all of these pieces, all of these blue pieces that are over the gold. They're all separate parts. These are not painted blue and put on the eyepiece. Oops, I've got him turned off. There we go. They're not put on and painted on. They're actually put on completely separately. And if you go underneath, it follows all the way across. All these little greeblies and doodads are separate parts. So this, just the eye is probably 50 pieces. And then he's got his bill. This is something that I see missing from some of the other film used robots. He's got his little bill intact. Fun job. I love doing this restoration. If you'd like to see more, make sure that you click on the website, Facebook, and Instagram pages listed in the description of the video. And thanks for watching.